Hey y'all, this is Stacy with the Craft Room Diaries. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm going to be walking you through the steps of creating multi-layer dimensional titles using Print Then Cut. Um, in my previous video, I showed how to create this simple, the simple background layers for this title that you can see here. I did the background in red. And um, in this case, I print then cut the, um, the rest of the title, which I'm going to show you how to do that. And I also thought that it would be pretty cute to put the um, the toilet paper raised. So we put this together. And you could actually elevate that using using a pop dot as well. But I thought it would be neat to put a pop dot on this and just raise this, um, this toilet paper up a little bit just to give it some dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, walk you through the steps of doing that. So here we are back to um, the This Is How We Roll uh, title. I know it's probably time for us to move on to something else, but I've been having so much fun with this one. Um, in the previous videos, I went over how to actually create this, how to create the background layers for it. And when we finished up with it, we had the title, This Is How We Roll grouped, as you can see right here. And we had each of the layers that we made to go behind that title. So um, a couple things that I wanted to do with this in finishing up is I did want to duplicate the toilet paper to have it to be able to put it on a pop dot and make it dimensional. So what, I, what I'm going to have to do first is I'm going to have to ungroup this. Um, so I simply ungroup it. I'm going to select. So that's grouped as well. Oh, why is it not? Hmm. Wait, no, it's not. Toilet paper is still separate. So I'm going to just duplicate the toilet paper so that I have two of them. So that when it actually prints and cuts, and this is actually, it is flattened. I flattened that as well instead of having, because the normal cut would have had this cut out in brown. I think it was a brown background. I did also, you can see right here, there's a little dashed line on the toilet paper. I just, I thought it needed a dashed line. You know how they, the sheets separate? So I just found a little a dashed line in images and I added it onto that and welded it onto, um, flattened it onto that image so that it would actually look to me more like toilet paper. So now I have two of them, okay? But I'm gonna go back and select this again, the whole title, this is how we roll, just by holding down the shift key. I'm going to select each of the parts that this is how we, okay, so we've got it all. So I'm going to group it back, okay? And what I thought would be the best route for me to go in producing this was to have this, the title, um, flattened to one of the backgrounds. In this case, this black ground is yellow. And I'll just drop this. Oh, I wonder why we is not attached. Hmm, let's go back and grab it. We'll go get it and stick it right here. All right, here we go. Okay, so now that we have all of this together, um, I like the yellow, but if you chose to do it in white, you would just simply have to change that background color to white. You could change it to whatever color you choose. It would probably look it would probably look great in any color, especially on top of that red, okay? So I'm going to go back and put it back to yellow because I do like the yellow. But what I'm going to do now is um, I've already got that yellow mat selected. I am now going to select all the rest of the components of my title. The this should be this is how we roll toilet paper. And I think I have. You can check it on the side here to see what you have selected i might have missed okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to flatten that if at any time you miss parts of it you can go back and unflatten it and reflatten it but it looks like i did grab all of it okay so what i'm going to want what i did here is i'm going to print then cut this feature that this is how we roll is going to be printed then cut okay and then this background this red background mat is sure, simply going to be cut and this is also going to be a print then cut feature as well. Now, one of the things that I will just point, just um, tell you a little bit about as a pointer, when I make these print then cut features, I think they look a whole lot better if this is printed on photo paper. And I tend to use matte photo paper because it doesn't have a gloss. But in doing that, if you choose to use a matte photo paper, when you go to send it to the printer, 
You're going to want to use system dialog right here. You're going to want to turn this system dialog box on. That way you can choose the type of paper because it's standardly, most of the printers are standardly uh, selected for plain paper or cardstock. But if you want to use matte photo paper, I just find it makes a much, much cleaner print on it. So when you choose system dialog box, when you choose, when you select it to print, your system dialog box will pop up at some point. Sometimes mine pops up behind this and I just need to move it around a little bit to see if that's where it's at. But in system dialog box, when the, when your dialog box comes up, there it is. When your dialog box comes up, however your printer features are, if you go to in, in mine, this is a Canon IP110 series. If I, if I choose quality and media, I can change my paper type. See, it's automatically sent to plain paper. I can change it to matte photo paper, to print it on matte photo paper. That way it actually makes a much, much cleaner print. And then you can print and cut that and just assemble it. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. I am wrapping up. The, this, this is how we roll series <laughs> and moving on to bigger and better things. But if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're a new visitor to my new channel, please consider subscribing as I will be adding many more. And I hope you visit again soon.